pelvic floor. Yeah, I just made a third of my rent this month by giving Ta -da! leather jacket. I have a thinner bread. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. today where anything I see that needs cleaned I just clean it on the spot like there and then instead of just saying I'll do it later one thing I am a little bit guilty of is I'm a bit of a dirty laptop girl that sounds nefarious but you know what I mean hi hello this is actually real time Tara I'm currently editing this vlog I'm about to anyway I'm importing the footage but honestly this vlog is much of a surprise to you as it is for me filmed so much this month that there's a lot of clips. I don't have a clear visual storyline because of that. I might end up editing this vlog slightly differently, but it's fine. I love switching things up. It's good for all parties involved, I think. Vlog techniques that I've seen in other people's vlogs that I really enjoy, whether it be narration or like on-screen text kind of explaining what's going on. We're not doing too badly. I got my Saturday workout in, met a friend for coffee, got some like vitamin D on my skin. That's the one thing about New York is at least in the winter, it's still sunny and it's so good for seasonal depression. However, as you can see, I'm now at home with all of the uh, overheads on. Pretty much have no light in the apartment by 3.30. I hate a non-warm bulb. However, I keep these for this time of year because they are daylight bulbs. And even though they don't feel like daylight, they do trick your brain and your circadian rhythm into thinking it's still daytime so that you don't get like too sleepy too soon. Setting the mood for hopefully a productive day. All I know is that I have Monday fear on a Saturday. Do it, gonna do it, gonna do it. I also put up my tree as you saw. I'm gonna laugh. Yes, it doesn't have any decorations because you know me, minimalist, do with the bare minimum. <laughs> I honestly just couldn't be arsed. I did this year buy one Christmas decoration and it's an X-Files decoration, so that's going right at the top. It's time to make sense of this vlog, but yeah, I think it'll just be like an easy breezy light one. I feel like we covered a lot of big heavy topics in last week's video, if you missed it. It's my figuring it out before 30 video. We covered like career, relationships, female friendships. We dealt with all of those big themes struggles that a lot of us especially in like mid to late 20s kind of feel you just don't feel like you're getting the most out of life you know oh my god the comments on that video <gasps> hit me right here right here you guys really made me feel like i contributed to your perspective and oh, that makes me happy this week we're definitely giving it like keeping it fun um and it's also an unsponsored one so enjoy But I actually have time to show you my outfit before I head into town early. Love, love, love. It's like ankle length skirt. Source unknown, let me pick it out. And I'm very grateful because, I don't know, it just allows me to try silhouettes and clothing that I would be kind of scared to invest in before. So now I can like confirm. I absolutely love this. I'm kind of in between having my hair up. Um, but I might just put it up to run into the city first. Um, I'm wearing these shoes, which I got off ASAP a little while back and I've been kind of waiting to style them. I have been invited to basically speak as a panelist at the Squarespace headquarters. I'm so, so stoked. Just picked a really great lineup of other types of creators. It's really diverse. So the only thing about this skirt, I think it's the skirt. I, for a second I thought it was the belt, but it's left these little marks on my t-shirt and they look like dye marks. I'll run it through a wash on its own when I get back. So if you do get it, be warned. I have been over wearing this jacket so much. It's almost like I don't own any other jacket. It was sent to me before I knew how much it actually was. They didn't send me the website. They sent me a line sheet. 
and it's $750 and I'll tell you right now you do not need a $750 jacket I feel like it's gonna be a Bose kind of day Let's do an update six, for the people. Six months, five months. I feel like you were on two months perpetually and I was gone from two months to six yeah, months. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm six months for the next like nine more months. What's the verdict? You're still in that, like, I would say like that, like, uh, I kind of hate New York, kind of love New York. I, I love New York now. Yeah, it's, it's just it's like a summer transition. was a bit hectic, like it was going out all the time. And then I was mm -hmm. like, my body can't take it anymore. But then I realized I would, had COVID and that's why I wasn't dancing back as fast. Exactly. So, now you're kind of like living your life. Yeah, and like fall is beautiful. The weather is so nice. Like I didn't expect it to still be sunny in New York. Well, it's not supposed to be. This is like peak global warming. But um, yeah, my little partner in crime here. Tara has the most beautiful face. I sh <laughs> You're so them. annoying. <laughs> I'm in the Lower East Side meeting my friend Lally for wine parcel, which is a very nice, like, new ish kind of hipster wine bar. But oh, it's nice to be in Manhattan. Just down by Chinatown. Little tea, skinny scarf, leather jacket. Vintage Levi's booties. Oh, 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 lighting on point. Very, very dodgy doing an outfit in this spot, but uh, seems quite. Oh, look at that. Ooh, she cute, she cute. Good morning, good morning. Wow, that was annoying, sorry. Um, um, I am, what am I doing? I can't even think. But lots of socializing this week. You know that blonde TikToker that does like the pelvic floor exercise as well? She's hosting a class this morning and she invited me. And then we're going to the MoMA to see Wolfgang Tillman's photography exhibition, which I've been wanting to go to for like a month. We were supposed to go last month, me and the girls. But um, we're going this morning instead. Nearly forgot to put in my hoops. As if I'm not enough of an egghead this morning. Could not, like I feel like these are an extension of my, of my body at this point. Everyone always asks me where I get my little hoopies. They're just brass ones that I got at a market in Brooklyn. But I'm sure, I think I've seen something similar on Amazon before. Oh uh, yes, you are for the bin. I need to get rid of my McDonald's evidence. Nice little Saturday ahead. time laws over here guys I look ridiculous well, I'm having one of those evenings where I just feel like playing like I feel like getting better at doing my hair and makeup the only way to get better is to practice and I've been seeing everyone do velcro rollers obviously you can do them on their own but I've seen people use them like in conjunction with the Dyson and I just want to get like a feel for it to see if it's something I kind of want to perfect or whether there's a point there's not even that many in my hair this is why I couldn't do my whole head and rollers because I don't have enough surface area on my little pea head to carry all of the hair that I have. So the Dyson still comes in handy. I've just had this insatiable craving to change the way I do my hair and makeup. Teen, 19, 20 year old Tara wouldn't have been a problem. I would sit there, play with makeup for hours, blah, 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 blah. But you just don't have that like same time, I feel, to invest when you're an adult. I feel like I don't anyway, but enough excuses if you want to get good at something, you have to practice, you have to try the nair. See all the girls doing rollers or doing a combination and they get such a beautiful, real bombshell hair. I've been kind of just lightly round brushing, 
with this attachment and then putting the roller in. Like I said, I'm doing it very loosely, just as kind of a trial run. Every girl I've seen does it differently, different size rollers. Sometimes they roll their curtain bangs forward. Sometimes they do it all back. So I've got two facing back, the front one facing back as well, which I don't usually do. All the girls seem to be doing alternating curls. So I'm kind of going for one row down. The next layer kind of rolled up. So I round brush in the direction that the roller is going to be going. So this is going to be this way. I don't really hold it for that long. I would say this attachment on the Dyson is so fab. I feel like even if I mess up with the other attachments, that one always just like fixes the mistakes. These rollers are definitely also not wide enough. Since the 2000s, it's just been getting progressively more effortless as time has gone on. And I feel like everything with trends is just such a circle. Everything comes back around. So it's so funny. It's so funny seeing Gen Z and millennials my age going back to this very old school way of doing hair. I think I'm gonna dice and air up this chunk of hair I have in the back and then I'll come back in like an hour and we can take a look at the madness. Okay, okay, I'm back. We're gonna take them out. I have absolutely no idea what to expect. We'll just see what we come up with. I'm not holding my breath. Oh my God, I feel like a Dolly Parton right now. No Austin Powers, the women who like had the boob guns. It's giving, it's giving very baby dolls. You get such a different effect depending on how you roll. <laughs> trust the process. Definitely giving volume, that's for sure. Saying that, I really love the rest of it. So what do we think? I think it's definitely something worth perfecting. I'll try a different size roller next time. Like the longer it's out, the more I kind of am liking it. Do we, do we do something here? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That was a journey guys. Thank you for the moral support. <laughs> First, a Brooklyn Loft booking uh, tomorrow, which is, as you guys know, when I rent out my loft for like day shoots. It's on Pure Space. So I will leave it in the description below if you ever need a spot to shoot. However, I've become very lazy because obviously I was away all summer, didn't lease my place out for day shoots at all. This is the reality. My place is a mess. I will explain why, but I have to get all of this chaos look at that look at that i know that would only take like two minutes in theory to clean up but you know when everything is just kind of like piled on top of each other i got my laundry back a full rubbish all of this a freaking air oh, don't even get me started this 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 is all of this uh returns to do stuff that i just have no room for it's all it's all a bit much and we have to get this all shoot ready by tomorrow i've been putting it off all day but yeah definitely i feel like in the winter months um bookings get way busier yeah my storage company unfortunately closed down and i'm so good because they were so handy it was like ballet storage so i used to put all of like my seasonal stuff my like um tools just like just stuff that i didn't really need kept in the house like uh, blow up beds stuff like that all in here and also like my random loose items that I don't want even my air con which was great because I mean that like if you look at it like that that stuff takes up a lot of space in an Irish company and they were just so good at their job and I was actually really sad because like the guy that drops off the stuff is always the same guy and um thankfully I know he has a job <laughs> after this but it still was really sad anyone can shout out any valet storage services that's where they take the stuff they don't necessarily charge you for a whole unit they just charge you for like the amount of space your stuff takes up and um, that can pick up and drop off please let me know i've been putting it off but i just know i'll feel so much less anxious when i actually 
saw all of this. We're three hours in, it took me two hours just to do the bathroom. I was watching. Uh, made progress. And all I can say is this is very representational of me. All of my life chaos, hidden from world view, packed away neatly like the Virgo moon that I am. Just snap my fingers and it'll be all done and you're gonna see a way less anxious tear. Ta-da! Oh my God, it took like six hours last night, five, six hours, but we're ready. And like my soul feels cleansed because the nice thing is I get to come home to like a clean home as well. But look, look, you could eat dinner off of that floor. I've talked to my plants for a creative safe day for whoever is shooting here. I also always, always set like a bit of an energy protection intention that anyone's energy that comes in today also leaves with them and um, so that i just come home to uh, a neutral space which is what i like did you enjoy that little bit of asmr now it's like those walking videos god christmas market prep is out i'm not mentally prepared one thing about having a fringe and curtain bangs is that you never look cute when you're walking ever my head has not known peace um, but yeah i'm in union square on this brisk day i've been doing a lot of this i've been doing a lot of sh work that i can't like share until it goes live it's been taking up a lot of my time just add stuff at me i gotta get the bag while i can it's the <laughs> it's the busiest time of year but it's just weird if i do always feel that pressure to have an even balance of just posting my own regular stuff but i'm not gonna lie it's been a little bit harder to manage as of late but i'm getting there i'm starting to get the balance back a little bit that is what i'm in the city for today i'm meeting a client at the kind of their hq they're going to show me around like a fifth to a quarter of my work depending on what time of year it is is work that i do where it doesn't get posted on my social media but i i still get um, hired as like a content creator. If you're on TikTok, you might know it as like a UGC. I don't advertise myself as a UGC creator. An extra little perk of my work because I love creating content and to do the parts of my job that I like without necessarily having to post it on my own social media. If you see my ads on Instagram or supported them as of late, thank you. I feel like I've been making you guys happy and kind of bringing you guys good ads. I don't know what's changed. I feel like I've just been really, really inspired lately. And yeah, the feedback's been very good and I'm very happy. So. I haven't gotten acupuncture in ages because the main reason I used to get it would be for my TMJ. Within have invited me to their nice little clinic. The practitioner I was given was super nice. He was super thorough. But we're going to do some things from the neck up, some stuff from my stomach for, you know, just to help my digestion along. I didn't realize these Fenty heat things were those lip pumper yolks. Oh my God, I thought we did away with those. That burning sensation. Ooh. And then the second thing I wanted to try was brown lip balm because I see that all over TikTok. I tried the Ilia one, Faded. I don't think it's for me, guys. I don't think a brown lip is for me. I think a berry just lifts my face like no other. Then there's a girl I follow on TikTok who always uses makeup from Kosas. I say I rate the, the lip balm if you've got chapped lips. Very lucky to receive replica pure every now and again the love hate thing because my job gets me on really expensive things and I crave them when they're gone but if you're looking for a really good christmas candle this one's so good oh my god my mom is possessing me right now why am i singing that i'm back from a busy day i always feel like i look super haggard <laughs> By the time the day is done, like my bags like form over the day. The red on red Lover Sunday sweater, which was a limited edition. I now made it permanent because it was such a fan favorite. Get yours at loversunday.com. All seems relatively well. I had another Brooklyn knock shoot today. Yeah, there were some sweet young girls in today. I think one of them was shooting some photos for her branding business for her website or something but a real cool mix of people in this week everyone is just so friendly and lovely lots of like content creators two content creators come in yesterday that were like tag teaming each other i feel like i've got the swing of it in the last year like i know the process i know how much time i need to clean and um, this week was handy because i felt like i only had to do one clean and then i just kept it sort of neat in between bookings i'm just really surprised how fast 
the bookings started coming in once that temperature started dropping. I've definitely had just good experiences on Peer Space. You can't have enough extra revenue streams, I feel like, as a young woman. I'm all about multiple revenue streams. Like, no matter how well you're doing in other areas, I feel like it's been probably the way I've semi full proofed my income. I never rely on just one thing because honestly, I just don't think it's financially smart. I'm kind of maintaining some semblance of financial stability as somebody that is essentially self employed. Yeah, I got an extra booking this week, so I've had three bookings. They hate to see a girl boss winning. Of course, it requires a bit of effort and a bit of, you know, elbow grease. I just made a third of my rent this month by giving up my apartment for 12 hours this week. I'm gonna be kind of transparent as I can and just encouraging it again because when I mentioned it last time, I got a couple of DMs, guys, over the last years being like, I found this through you and now I'm making a couple of extra $100 a month. So yeah, I am all about sharing any kind of tools I can to empower you guys, especially financially. Oh my cabbage. Two recipes with cabbage this week. I might put one in this vlog and one in the next vlog. You know, single gals using up a whole cabbage is quite a task. It's wintry and cold now and I'm very much in the mood to make kind of roasted dishes. Do another baked cabbage dish. I should get like four servings out of it at least and I'm gonna freeze the rest. I have such a big TikTok recipe folder on my account and I've been making my way through them and this is one of them. So I will leave it in the description below because as you can hear from the noise, I'm not gonna be able to talk you through it. So I am going to dissociate and put on my headphones, listen to some music. I will kind of show you what I'm doing. And I think some salmon will go really well with this. So that is what my dinner is gonna be. I also hate the word dish. Why do I say it all the time? I hate that word. Dish. Anyone looking for a Bose headphones update? I love them. Going full self care, mocktail made with three spirit. Shitty plating aside, it looks so good. Obviously I have more now to throw in the freezer. Okay, let's do a taste test. I did add some extra spices. I just always have to edit a recipe. Hopefully it's good, because I just find sometimes when I follow recipes, they come out so bad. That tastes like so homey, very hearty. It's like a cabbage stuffing. A bit of broccoli would have been really nice with this, I think. It's something extra for me. I have this tin of baked beans open, so I'm gonna be non-aesthetic, throw that on there, and that is dinner. This is a different evening, different dinner, same cabbage bake, but I did it with gravy this time, cherished gravy from Ireland <laughs> that I've been hoarding. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it needed like a sauce. So we're doing chicken and gravy tonight. Overdue, but I did treat myself to a new pan. Yeah, she's stunning. Just after a long day of work, I actually have a way cuter outfit on, but for practicality purposes, I have to have the sweater on top. But I thought I'd show you my funky new pants. Even though as usual, I am late and I really need to leave the house, but how good are they? And I showed you them in one of the other vlogs, maybe the last vlog. 
Uh, they're from Meow and I got them in the sale. But you know what, the sweater doesn't look that bad. But not only did I wanna document the pants, I'm also documenting the fact that I am seeing someone musically that I'm so excited to see. I am going to Madison Square Garden. I'm taking myself to a concert because Strome is playing. He's like one of my favorite French artists and he's been on my bucket list for, I would say 12 years. So without a doubt, 2022 has been the best music year. I feel like I've ticked off 90% of the people I've ever wanted to see live. 17, 18, remember Allure and Dance came out. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's Strummy. At one point I could even like sing all the songs in French. So I hope he plays some of his old ones. I do like his new album. Um, and it should be fun, good atmosphere, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I've been doing deadlines all day and I'm literally going to be doing them still on the train on the way in. So love that for me. <laughs> New York City culture for you. Thanksgiving. I am heading to Adele's, but I just wanted to have a moment for this eyeshadow look. Instagram already is up to 90 with it. I also thought I was just like playing with makeup. And this is what we came up with. I think it's kind of festive. But yeah, typical. I get a day off and all I want to do is spend two hours doing my makeup. Not for this shot right here with this light hitting me. It wasn't all for nothing. I gave myself a thinner brow. What do we think? Like I'm never going to pluck my brows but I blocked them out a bit with Pritt stick and kind of made them appear thinner. I was gonna do like a full bald brow and just block my brows completely, but I don't really wanna scare anyone today, so. Oh my God, so cute. We're, we're having a Jordanian inspired Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Ooh. 